हेलो वन वेलकम टू पार्ट 111 ऑफ लारावल 10 सीरीज इन विच वी आर गेटिंग द ई-कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी एबल टू ऐड द प्रोडक्ट्स इन शॉपिंग कार्ड एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू शो द डिस्काउंटेड प्राइसेस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स एंड द सब एंड ग्रैंड टोटल फॉर द फॉर आवर शॉपिंग कार्ड ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी एबल टू ऐड द प्रोडक्ट्स टू द कार्ड सो वंस अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड फ्यू ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स टू आवर कार्ड I'm going to add the products uh, from the listing page. I'm going to select one of the products and we'll add them in our card. Okay, you can see that I can able to add two of the products in our card. Okay, uh, so product all exists. It's fine. Okay, then I can. Uh, I am going to add one more product. Okay, I'm going to add this red T-shirt as well and one product for the red T-shirt. I'm going to add to card this one as well. We, I will click on view card and you can see the products uh, are ad added in the card okay so one thing is that we are going to show the discount prices here we are going to cut and will show the discount prices here right now we are showing the product price product main price okay but we are going to show the discount price of the product that we have seen in the detail page okay like uh, this small uh, size of this gap blue t-shirt we are going to show the small price, uh, price of, of this gap blue t-shirt and if there is any discount we are going to uh, we are going to cut the mrp and we'll show the discounted price okay and also this subtotal as well as the grand total we are going to show okay we are going to calculate subtotal and as well as the grand total and we'll show up here so let's start uh, the first thing is i'm going to open the card blade file here okay uh, so there uh, here i'm going to uh, see i'm going to uh, here uh, this is the get card items and uh, here i'm going to call one function here okay get attribute price function that we have added earlier to show the uh, discounted price and uh, from the product uh, model i'm going to see get attribute price so this function i'm going to call there in for each loop okay so that i can i can get the discounted price i will also get the discount percent as well here you can see that we able to get uh, with this uh, product price final price discount and discount percent and these things we require here in card as well and only two things we need to send here one is the product id and another one is the size so i'm going to uh, call this function here so that we will get the discount price as well as the discount percent uh of the product okay so i'm going to call this function here so here i'm going to here we'll make the same name like get attribute price uh, and here from the product model uh, i'm going to get the get attribute price once again get attribute price and here i'm going to uh here uh, we'll send here i uh, will return uh, the product id okay product id as well as we are going to uh, pass the uh, product size as well product size product uh, size this one okay so here i am going to check here that what we get here so i will just check first of all uh, that we are getting here everything that we require we must get four things here final price product price discount and discount percent okay let's see uh, okay so there is some issue we are going to see uh, this one uh, dollar okay so here we have missed dollar item okay so now i'm going to check here once again and product need to add here at the top uh, we are going to add here the model uh, use app models uh, product okay the model like this product and now i'm going to see here yes we have got product price final price discount and discount percent okay so we have got what we require i'm going to open one more page and here you can see okay and now uh okay so i uh, will go back here and we'll disable this one and here i'm going to show the uh discount price along with the final price uh, i will cut that so i'm going to pick from the detail blade file okay uh, here we are already doing this thing uh, so i'm going to pick this one this day from here that will really help us and I'm going to paste uh, where we are calculating where we are having that price 
uh, here here we are going to uh, show it here okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, here disable this one and we'll add up here this one okay uh, uh, here we are going to do it like this div then span this one we will align first okay uh, okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to simply disable this one and I am going to use this uh, get attribute price okay so here I'm going to mention here everywhere get attribute price will come up here now I'm going to check it once here let's see I refresh it and it is showing discount type is okay fine uh, so what I'm going to do here I'm going to uh, here will show uh, will add like this discount uh, here you, we are going to see okay discount is if the discount is greater than zero if current discount is greater than zero only then uh, this condition will come up okay so I'm going to now check uh, okay product discount is there I'm going to see uh, here the final price must come final price instead of that thing and now we're going to check once okay so now you can see 500 is cut and we are showing the 450 but uh, here is one thing that we okay so this one percent off this one uh, will come here not the final price but the discount percent uh, I'm going to check here like a discount percent must come here okay like this okay so now I'm going to refresh it once again and here you can see the 10 percent discount 10 percent discount 15 percent discount and here 500 is cut and 450 is the final price and 600 is the MRP 540 is the final price M, uh, okay sale price means and 700 is the MRP that is the cost price and 595 is the sale price that is the discounted price okay uh, so 15% off here so it is uh, it has been shown here but the font is little bit bigger than uh, actually a smaller font oh, that much font that much bigger font is not looking that much good i'm going to, i will try with this one let's see table b price i'm going to check with this one like how it looks uh, okay no 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 it is not displaying it at all i'm going to add my own style font size okay font size i'm going to make it like uh, 16 pixel let's see okay now it seems to be fine now you can see uh the prices are looking correct okay not that much big okay so now we have the uh, discounted prices here after cutting the mrp okay so now we need to show the subtotal as well as the grand total and for that uh we will calculate that and uh, before for each loop we will add one variable we are going to take okay so here uh, like uh, php this is another way of starting the php and and the php okay so here we are going to take one variable total price and we are going to assign the zero value to it and after that uh, after before uh, before for each loop ends we are going to increment this uh, total price okay and uh, here once again i'm going to start the php and sorry i'm going to end the php here as well and in between i'm going to increment this total price total price equal to dollar total price uh, plus here dollar uh, get attribute price get attribute price that is the variable okay final price and also make sure that uh, we will multiply its quantity we will multiply uh, it with the quantity okay dollar item product quantity to find the total price okay so this is the same thing that we are showing earlier uh, like this one final price into uh, into the product quantity and same thing I think uh, we must uh, do there as well okay that also we are going to do but first of all i'm going to uh, show this total price here uh, okay here i'm going to show this total price 
okay and uh, and here also the grand total is same as the uh, as the subtotal because we have no discount coupon discount feature right now we will uh, add this module uh, very soon but right now it's zero so the grand total is same as subtotal okay so i'm going to refresh here and uh, so uh, okay there is double come okay so total price here okay now we are going to see uh, that the total of this one 450 plus 540 plus 595 it's 1585 so the correct total uh, we are showing but there is one issue like uh, if we will add the multiple uh, item like the if the user add the two quantity of any item like suppose if the user adds this uh, with the two quantity like small then I will add the two quantity will go to the car and this time you can see the two quantity is added but uh, it is still showing the one quantity price and here I will go to its detail page and we'll see the small size uh, is of uh, I'm going to select the small size and here you can see it's the 900 so 900 into 2 it must be 1800 so 1800 must be there so for that we need to multiply it with the quantity as well okay so make sure that uh, uh, we are going to multiply it with the quantity as well so uh, where we are showing here okay here also like uh, uh, we are doing this uh same thing we need to do there as well final price into product quantity okay final price into product quantity uh, it must come here and uh, here as well we need to multiply it with the product price as well okay product price and i think that is enough uh, let's see okay so here you can see 2000 mrp 2000 mrp is fine uh, let's see it's mrp mrp of this product okay uh, it's the 1000 so 1000 into 2 it's the 2000 so 2000 mrp is fine and its discounted price is 1800 after subtracting the 10 percent off that is 200 rupees okay subtractor so now it's working fine okay so you can see uh, it's working fine oh and for all prices and you can also see like 1800 plus 595 plus 540 plus 450 and it must be 3385 let's calculate once and uh, just check it once that it the it, it, it is fine okay so uh, see 1800 uh, plus uh, 595 uh, plus uh, 540 plus uh, 450 it's equal to 3385 and it's equal to the subtotal as well as the grand total so it's working fine okay so we able to show the discounted prices of the products and we able to show the subtotal as well as the grand total okay so everything is seems to be working fine now so we will move to our next video in the next video we are going to update the quantity via ajax so please stay tuned for the next video okay in which we are going to update the quantity without the refresh of page via ajax and uh, this everything will update like this price will update this subtotal and grand total will uh, will also update without the refresh of the prepared via ajax okay so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye